We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the peace and grace of God be with you. We pause now, as we begin our Eucharist, to call to mind God's loving mercy, and to seek forgiveness and strength as we grow in holiness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who willed that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your Son, both in his birth and in his death, grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may fight hard for the confession of what you teach. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Lord, I love your commands. How I love your law, O oh Lord, it is my med meditation all the day. Lord, I love your commands. Your command has made me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. Lord, I love your commands. I have more understanding than all my teachers when you, your decrees are my mediation. I have more discernment than the elders because I observe your precepts. Lord, I love your commands. From every evil way I withhold my feet that I may keep your words. Lord, I love your commands. From your ordinances I turn not away for you have instructed me. Lord, I love your command. Alleluia, alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus came to Nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. <clears throat> he stood up to read and was handed the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, 
and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. And he said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Is this not the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his native place. Indeed, I tell you, There were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the sky was closed for three and a half years and a severe famine spread throughout the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to the widow at Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built to hurl him down headward. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the passion of St. John the Baptist, uh, which is a way of saying that we, uh, we celebrate, we commemorate um, the trouble that he, he found himself in, the suffering that he endured uh, as he fulfilled his uh, call to proclaim to people the word of God and to uh, point toward the one who had been sent as a redeemer and for the salvation of the people. <clears throat> so we commemorate his suffering, but we also commemorate, and another use of the word passion, we celebrate his passion for his, his commitment, his, his calling. And much like uh, Jesus, his calling was one to proclaim Uh, the message of God's love and God's salvation to people. And as we hear Jesus uh, talking about his commitment, his calling to announce good news to people, to heal people, to bring people closer together. And so it's a day for us to reflect upon um, the level of our passion for our commitment through baptism to share in the ministry of John the Baptist, but also to share in the ministry of Jesus, to show forth in our lives um, the presence of God through our words and our actions. And so may our celebration today and our reflection upon uh, the life of John the Baptist um, strengthen us uh, to have an even deeper passion for our commitment as Christian people, as disciples of Jesus. Let us now bring our prayers before God. We pray for ourselves and all of our brothers and sisters of the Christian faith that we may grow in deeper passion for carrying forth in our lives, in our words, and our actions the the ministry of Jesus. We pray. On this day that we celebrate the passion, the suffering of John the Baptist, we pray for all those who suffer because of the faith they hold, the way they choose to live their lives. We pray. We pray for peace in our world and for all those whose um, 
who have a passion for working among people to bring peace and reconciliation, we pray. And we pause now to bring to mind those other prayers that we have today. For these we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For Lloyd and for all we promise to remember in our prayers today, we pray. For those who are sick, those who have died, those who mourn them, those who care for the sick, we pray. A holy and gracious God, receive these prayers of your people and the unspoken prayers that lie upon our hearts. Receive them in the name of Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. How blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and her human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. <clears throat> blessed are you, Lord God of creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our offering may be acceptable to God. <clears throat> Through these offerings which we bring you, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your paths, as taught by the voice of crying out in the desert, St. John the Baptist, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among all those born of woman. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb he left for joy at the coming of, the human, at the coming of human salvation. He alone, among all the prophets, pointed out the Lord of redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with all the powers and hosts of heaven, we worship you constantly here on earth and before you without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, you are indeed holy. You are the source of all holiness. And we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when they had finished supper, Jesus took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks, and giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse for the Blessed Apostles, when St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, <clears throat> all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Joining our voices, we now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another some sign of the peace of Christ. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies, the saving sacrament we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may God's blessing be upon you always, the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the love and peace of God.